Yes, 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 people. What's going on? Seagull Talks Football. We're back again with another video. I just want to let you guys know, I've seen some major news on Twitter just a couple seconds ago, and I needed to bring it to your attention, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Arsenal are getting close to their first signing of the summer. Yes, Arsenal are looking for a striker. We are looking for a midfielder, but it looks like we might be signing a defender. And you're probably wondering, who on earth is that mystery signing that Arsenal could get before the end of the transfer window? You're probably wondering who on earth is Egal talking about in the thumbnail and in the title of this video. I will tell you guys in a second, but before we go any further, make sure you do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, check out the title sponsor to the video. Of course, it is SofaScore. The link is in the description to SofaScore's uh, free app to download. It is the best football app on the planet where you have live scores, uh, player ratings, and it gives you every single st statistic that you need in football, plus heat map. So check it out. But let's get back to um, Arsenal news today. First thing, before we even get to the potential new signing that we're going to be making, a little bit of a tease there. Let's get to the first topic of the day. Looks like Zinchenko, forget about Zinchenko, it looks like Declan Rice is back fit. That's number one. That is great news. Declan Rice is going to be available Fit versus not to enforce. We are not worried about Declan Rice. Is slight injury. We thought he had a hamstring injury. Looks like he's okay. Declan Rice is a warrior, so we don't have to worry too much about Declan Rice. That is great news. So the fitness update on Declan Rice. Let me just give you guys the official report. Let me just get. Let me just get that up for you guys on the screen so I can show you guys what I'm, what I'm talking about. Here it is. So uh, Declan Rice is well and prepared for next uh, next game. Uh, where is the report? Let me see. Let me share. Let me share it. Let me share it. Where is it? You, there's so many things that are on this thing. Okay, so uh, Declan Rice. I think it's important. Uh, one second. One second. Declan Rice. Um, yeah, Declan Rice is fit. He is. Yeah. Here we. Here it is. Let me show you guys. So this is Declan Rice. The, the update on Declan Rice. Declan Rice is fit and expected to be fit for the game versus uh, Nottingham Forest. So that is massive news right there. Declan Rice will be available, fit and available for that game. Uh, so we don't need to worry too much about Declan Rice's uh, uh, potential injury that he had, uh, that we thought he sustained in the last game. So that is great news. Now, in other news with injuries, there's also some other major news with the likes of Thomas Partey and timber so let me just uh get that too the the thomas party timber stuff is what is really got me excited this is what's got me super excited so reports are flying around that timber is coming back and thomas party will be back also very soon the two of them coming back absolutely changed the fortune of our team we already know that so let me just show you guys the reports um 11 hours ago so charles watts on his new video uh, yesterday, spoke about this on his channel. He said, today on the show, I'll give you an update on Thomas Partey returning. Midfielder hopes to return to training this week. Uh, also discussed Declan Rice. We know Declan Rice is going to be back very soon. But what is going on with Yuri and Timber? We need to find out what's going on with Yuri Timber. And, of course, Zub uh, we know we know that uh, KBR is going to be okay, uh, all fine also. Let me just see what's going on with Timber. Update on Timber. Timber is expected to be back in first team training also. So here you go. As you can see right here, Timber is expected. Arsenal expect Timber to be back full first team training next month with the defenders set to have um, uh, to be a major part of the Gunners' second half of the season. This is ma a massive update, ladies and gentlemen. We have been missing Timber for the entirety of the season. And to have him back, that is huge huge for Arsenal Football Club. So I'm very happy to hear about that, that he will be back with the Arsenal very, very soon. And hopefully he can be a big part of our second half of the season as Urien Timber is a big part to play in, in, in the second half of the season for us as how important he is as a defender, let alone what he can also bring with his versatility to help out tucking into midfield and everything else. Now, as we're talking about potential signings, let's get into some of these potential signing links. There is a link to none other than the man himself, Xavi Simon, reports that Arsenal have since sent scouts to, Germ uh, to, Germ uh, to Germany to go see Xavi Simon play 
versus Leverkusen. So that is going to be a very interesting take. Let's see what happens with that and how things escalate from here to with Xavi Simon. I, I doubt that we will pull the trigger on a, on a transfer for Xavi Simon um, in January because there is not, it doesn't look like there's going to be much movement in January. So we're going to have to have some patience and wait until the summer for that. Now, one thing that is... Uh, one thing that is uh, getting close, apparently, I spoke about this in the previous video, is uh, Zubamendi. Reports are flying around that Zubamendi is very close and is on offer to join another club at this moment in time in a pre-agreement deal. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that, how it progresses. But at this moment in time, it looks like Zubamendi is very close to accepting an offer to join Arsenal in the summer. I just don't believe it because if that was the case, David Onstein, Fabrizio Romano, some of these major journalists would have been on the case and already speaking about it. But at this moment in time, this has been floating about all day. And it's just another major story that I needed to get out to you guys to let you guys know about before we keep, uh, before we move on to anything else. Now, there is, uh, before we get to the final story, of the day before we get to the final story of the day i want you guys to do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button let me know what you guys think about the transfer news so far how much of a factor could thomas Partey and timber returning for the second half of the season play in us potentially pushing on to win maybe the league or even the champions league dare i say it but uh, of course it should give us significant better odds of doing that but can we actually do it that's a different story for another day. It looks like KVR will also be staying at Arsenal. He will not be leaving this summer. But let me just give you two more. Uh, my last update before I get to the final one of the day. So uh, talking about, uh, we spoke about uh, Benzema yesterday. But the story that we need to speak about today is this one right here. It, sources have started uh, have stated that Southampton's Kyle Walker-Peters is a name that Arsenal are keeping an eye on over the next two weeks ahead of Thursday's deadline. This seems to be the, the mystery transfer, the January transfer signing that we could make. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, Kyle Walker-Peters coming in at right back cover would definitely help us at this moment in time uh, as uh, with more defensive cover. He's not a needle mover. He's not somebody who changes the game for us, but it just allows us to have more quality uh, coming off the bench former Tottenham also, so it's kind of funny. But I do think Kyle Walker-Peters coming into this team would benefit us. Uh, another defensive cover. Obviously, we want a striker. Obviously, we want a midfielder. We just can't seem to get those deals over the line. But if he can get a little bit more defensive cover, shore up the defense a little bit more, with Tommy Asu uh, constantly always injured, Timber coming back from an injury, it might just benefit us enough to bring in Kyle Walker-Peters. It will have to make sense for everybody involved since Southampton are in a really good uh, in Southampton are in championship. They might be willing to let go of Kyle Walker-Peters. We're going to have to see what happens. Could it be a loan deal? Could it be a permanent? We still don't have more information, but just keep an eye on that one right there as it might progress over the next coming days and weeks uh, and weeks before the deadline. And yeah, that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this was a little bit informative and helpful to you, the Arsenal fans. And of course, Always remember to check out the, the title sponsor for the video. If you're tired about missing about missing uh, what's going on in the world of football and you want to have live updates, in-depth stats, and real-time updates, breaking news, expert analysis, everything you need is on SofaScore. Over 5,000 leagues, 25 different sports around the globe on one app. You don't need anything else. Go download it today. The link is in the description. And I'm out of here, people. You have yourselves a wonderful day. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. And if you guys enjoy this video, hit the like button. Leave a nice comment. Because lately, all I've been getting is negative comments. And it's, it's it, my community is better than this. You guys are better than this. Show some love to the people in the comment section. Communicate with each other. Get involved in the chat. And I'll also try to respond to your comments. And love, I'm out of here, people. Have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll be back tomorrow with um, a preview to the Tottenham Man City game talking about Arsenal, talking about Chelsea getting to a cup final, Liverpool potentially getting to a cup final, and that's it for now. I'm out.